Okay, we're back. All right, we've got this switch statement that we're working on. And we've got the switch statement here inside of this function set message. We got switch, we're pass passing it the message state, case 0, case 1, case 2, 3. And now I put in case 3. So case 3, colon, not semicolon. Right after you put the case number, you put a colon, not a semicolon. And then I target it, message MC, there's a the movie clip, enter message underscore MC, message underscore text. And this time, ready, set, and then break. And now it's time for case 4. Okay, under case 4, what we're going to do is we're going to say message underscore MC, our message box, the one that tweened in, we're going to say go to and stop 1. And that will make it go off the stage and go back to uh, frame 1 of its movie clip. Right, so that should remove the little message board off of the stage. I might want to animate it off later, but for right now, I'm just going to leave it like that, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to call a function. So after we've clicked here, ready, set, you've clicked next, and that means you're ready to go, right? So we move the message off screen, and we say game on function. We call a function called game on, which we haven't written yet. We're going to have to write this game on function. All right. And then afterwards, we're going to increment the message state, okay, like we usually do. Okay. So uh, message state plus plus. All right. I don't know if we need to increment message state because it's automatically incremented. No, we need to. Okay, so, um, and then we break out of it. Okay, because there's no more clicking to increment the message state. There's no more button because it's going to be off stage. So we need to increment it to case 5 um, for the next click. We need to increment it so that the next time we click it, it'll be at case 5, meaning we're going to need to restart our game. Just trust me on that for now. Okay, so, um, and then when we bring it back on stage, it'll be time for case 5. And let's see here. It'll be time for case 5. And in this case, what we'll do is it'll be time to, uh, I'm going to put here, for when we need to restart. So that'll be when it's time for case 5. Okay, so now there's our switch statement. I hit Control Enter, and we click. We start our game. Uh, we get the messages. Sends us a message. Reload the gun. That shows up, so we see what's going on there. Ready, set. We click, and the thing disappears. And now the game should start. So now this is when we need to write our game on function. Okay. We're going to do it piece by piece, nice and slowly, so that hopefully becomes kind of clear. So we've we moved the message off screen and we call the game on function. Then we incremented the message state and we broke out of the switch. So now it's time to write the game on function. So we say function game capital O on. Right? Open curly brace, close curly brace, and now we're going to write this function. Okay, so first thing we'll do is we'll say Let's turn on our crosshair. Crosshair on. We'll call that function, which we haven't written yet. We'll need one to start running the crosshair. We're also going to need to start our gun. Say like gun on. We're going to write that later too. And then we're going to do another thing. We'll say on enter frame equals play game. Okay? And that one does not get an open and close parentheses, just a semicolon. And so then this code will execute 15 to 12 times per second and we'll call a play game function which we haven't written yet. So when we game on, we turn our crosshair on, we run some code for our gun, and then we play our game. This will manage our game loop. This code right here, the on enter frame handler, what it will do is it'll 
it'll take your frame rate, which in this case is 15 frames per second, and it will execute whatever's here, a function in this case, play game, 15 times per second. So this will be repeated. So this is how we'll basically run our game. Our game loop will be run through this. Okay, so I'm going to write the crosshair on function right now. So function cross oops, crosshair capital O on. Okay, and and in here what we're going to do is we're going to hide the mouse. Mouse capital M. Make sure it's capital M. Hide. Okay, that will hide our mouse, right? And we need to activate our um, cursor, the uh, crosshair, which in this case is called cursor MC. So cursor underscore MC dot, we're going to give it an on mouse move function. So on mouse move equals a function. This will ha make it execute every time we move the cursor. Close that. And we'll say um, cursor. We could name the cursor, or we could just say this. Since the cursor is calling this on mouse move function, we could say this dot x equals underscore x mouse. Right? This dot underscore y equals Y mouse. All right, and that should um, move it. And then we're going to update the screen. So we'll say update after event. So that'll update the screen. It'll make things look smoother, supposedly. I'm not really familiar with this update after event function, but they used it in this book, and it seemed to be working pretty good. So let's see if that works. So click here click through, ready, set, go, and now our cursor is moving. Great. So the game on function is called, right? Game on function is called, and crosshair on is called by the game on function, and then the crosshair on, every time I move my mouse, on mouse move, the cursor moves. So what I'm going to do is I need to also move the rifle to go with the cursor, so I'm going to just do a little trick here. I'm going to say um, rifle underscore mc dot underscore its x position equals this dot x, the cursor's x, which equals the x mouse. So this will set the rifle and cursor underscore mc, in this case this, right, because that's who's calling it. I could even write it out here too, I could just say if, to be a little more cursor underscore mc, right. So cursor on mouse move, and I'll do that here. It might be easier for you to... It's good to use the um, this statement when you can, though. All right, and that should work pretty nicely. So click here to start. Tab through. All right, ready, set. And now our cursor moves, and so does our rifle, and we're ready to start adding the next part of our game, which will be probably moving um, the targets around so we can shoot them. Okay, we've got our reload button here for when we want to reload. So we're all set. All right. It becomes kind of clear. So we've